ericmwadetmwadet.com. Now, one thing you'll always hear is the argument between those who trade technicals and those who don't trade technicals, who trade on fundamentals. Generally, you find that they poo-poo on the use of indicators, always stating that they tend to be lagging and that they are not as useful. But let me show you something here that leans to why you should also incorporate technical analysis. There's a relationship that we are going to find that explains this drop and a gap down, this gap down here and the recent gap down here from yesterday and today. So even though price does not seem to show what relationship, I'll show you how the RSI does show why these two points here became resistance levels using the RSI itself. And this method is very simple. I call it the symmetry or the uniformity method. Check the description of the video for a link into this playlist on this method I call the uniformity method. So let's go back to that AMD daily chart. And we can see two things. Number one, there was a break of the trend line. Going back to this point here. So the trend line break right there. This break corresponds with this initial gap down. Now what we do is we take that brick level, draw a horizontal line like that. And now it makes sense that we stalled after double top rejection here and here, which is this level. And over the last two days, we tagged that level with the uniform action and now we are dropping. So that is one of the explanation as to why we are getting this reversal today. The other observation is the last two gap downs. In fact, the last three gap downs, this gap down here, this one and this one which correspond to huge down days also happen when the RSI dropped below 50. So you can see here the RSI dropping below 50 corresponds with this gap down move. Drop below 50 on a daily basis corresponds to this gap down and today we are seeing it showing almost a 11% drop. Why? Because the daily RSI is dropping back below 50 something I call the RSI crossing phenomena and it is the other reason why the stock has been responding to this level with big drops. Again the RSI explains exactly what's going on here if you go back to this initial break. So that break right there led to the current highs here and the high over the last two days. So there you have it. Technical analysis sometimes does paint a better picture as to what is going on in terms of the technical response to certain key RSI and sentiment levels. Eric Mwadho with Mwadho.com and one more time, check the description of this video for a link that discusses this phenomena which I call uniformity in detail. I am out. Peace and blessings. Mwadho. Hendrik Mwadho. Hendrik Mwadho.